Good morning, everyone. It's Tom, and welcome to episode two here in Vilnius, Lithuania. Now, this is episode two of my four countries in 10 days mini tour of Europe. So make sure you check out all my other episodes. If you didn't miss out our episode from yesterday, my first impressions of Vilnius, Lithuania, there's a pop up on your screen coming up right now. So do make sure you check that out. Today, I'm really excited because I'm bringing you to Trakai, which is about 20 kilometers south of Vilnius. Now, Trakai is really really famous these days because there is a castle in the middle of a lake. Now I found that super interesting and I booked that tour right away so we're gonna get on a bus and it's gonna be about a three to four hour tour down to Trakai. It's not too far from Vilnius so very accessible from Vilnius and then we're gonna come back to Vilnius Old Town, continue our walking tour and we're gonna check as much of the architecture and kind of get lost in the city in Vilnius today. So of course along the way we're going to be eating some Lithuanian food, trying some new things too, so I can't wait for that. But anyway, let's head downstairs and catch our bus to Trakai. So I've just come to the meeting point for the tour to Trakai. I got the 35 euro tour because I wanted to have a local that's going to tell me a lot about the history. And also it includes the ticket to get into the castle, which is 8 euro. The other tour was 20 euros, but you have to pay another 8 euros for the entrance. And then you have to go around the area yourself. So I'd rather go with a tour guide that can tell me a bit about the history of every place we go to. So I opted for that. It's going to be 18 of us getting in the bus. Not such a big party, but still that's really, really good. So we'll be back here in four hours and we get about 90 minutes time to ourselves to walk around Trakai. Let's get over and start exploring the castle in Trakai. So we made it to Trakai. It was about a 30 minute drive from central part of Vilnius. Trakai, I'm right here in the middle of Lake Galve where the Trakai castle is. Now this is one of the only places in Europe where there's a castle in the middle of the lake. So I can't wait to go inside and check out Trakai Castle. It's a 14th century medieval castle where the Duke of Lithuania took up residence. So I can't wait to go inside and check it out and show you guys what a true medieval castle is. So let's go inside. I'm glad that I prepaid all of my entrance fees so I just need to go inside listen to the tour and check out the amazing architecture of Trakai Castle so let's take a closer look
The Kibin. Yeah, yeah. uh, take away, please. Six fifteen, six and twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, right? So in Australia, we would call this a pasty actually. So it's pretty much like a pasty or an enlarged empanada in Mexico. But kibinai, definitely yum, yum, yum. Let's finish our kibinai. Okay, wow, definitely worth a visit to pop down here if you're coming down to Vilnius. You can spend a good half day here. I was only here for three to four hours, but there's so many activities you can do here. You can hire a boat and go boating around the lake. If the summer is here, like today, there's a lot of people taking a dip in the lake, which is really nice too. And there's heaps of restaurants along the lake here to enjoy your time after checking out Trocay Castle. Anyway, we're going to head back down to Vilnius. We're going to check out the old city. We're going to walk around and check out the last few sites before I do my lasting impressions of Vilnius, Lithuania. So let's head back to Vilnius. <music> Back now in Vilnius city centre, we're here at the Cathedral Square. Right behind me is the Vilnius Cathedral, and that was made in 1783, so 230 odd years ago. And this is the main Roman Catholic church here in Vilnius. So let's take a look inside and around the grounds. It's a really, really popular area. A lot of the free walking tours for Vilnius, they start here. It's a really, really big thoroughfare here. Everyone walks through here to get to other parts of the city. So let's take a closer look at the Vilnius Cathedral. Took a bit of a detour here at Cathedral Square. I went into the bell tower, which is just in front of the Vilnius Cathedral. And now I came here literally one minute before the bell started ringing. The stairs here are super steep, so if you're a bit scared of heights, I suggest not coming up here. By the way, it costs four euros fifty to get in, but it's kind of like a museum inside, so you get to learn a bit about the history of Cathedral Square too. While I was climbing up the stairs, which is wooden, so it doesn't seem 
completely safe. The bell started ringing and the vibrations just made everything completely vibrate and rattle and it's actually quite scary but it's finished now so I can relax a bit but yeah that was Bell Tower so we're gonna go back down and check out another church here in Vilnius. <music> A classic example of Gothic architecture is right behind me. St. Anne's Church is right here at the heart of Old Town Vilnius. Now it was made in 1500 and as you can see it looks remarkable. It's a standout here in Vilnius Old Town made completely out of bricks. That's why it's a standout. So let's take a look inside. I'm really curious to see what's in there. It's closing at 6 p.m. It's nearly 6 so I need to run inside there. So let's have a quick look inside St. Anne's Church. <laughs> Welcome to the Republic of Uzupis. Yes, um, I'm in a completely different country, I think, here in the middle of Vilnius Old Town in Lithuania. So Uzupis is well known for its bohemian feel or artsy feel throughout this neighborhood inside of Vilnius and it actually declared itself an independent or a republic in 1997. So I'm so curious just to walk around here and see what it's all about. So let's explore in Uzupis.
about to go in now to the gate of the dawn here at the entrance of the old city in Vilnius. This was built in the 1500s as more of a security measure because Vilnius used to be fortified so there used to be walls surrounding the city and this is the last remaining gate of the city because everything else was already destroyed. So let's take a closer look. Also you'll be able to notice that there's the Blessed Virgin Mary there. She's supposed to have miraculous powers so that really aided in the security defense mechanism back in the day but in other matters can I just say that it's really hot today and for one euro I got a bottle of San Pellegrino where else can you get a bottle of San Pellegrino for one euro super cheap anyway let's take a closer look <music> So now here at Leche or Le Chai restaurant um, to get something to eat. This homemade sausage baked in beer. So that looks pretty interesting. And to drink, I got something really different. This homemade glass. So it's supposed to be good on a hot summer day. So let's see how it is. It's got a really funny taste. It's got a medicinal taste, but it's supposed to be kind of like beer. It's got a very, very low alcohol, like a kombucha, I guess. So it's supposed to aid in digestion and super fresh. So I like my kvass. Cheers. <laughs> So I've got the main course now. This is the pork sausage baked in dark beer. Looks pretty interesting. I've never really had any sausages baked in beer before. So let's see if there is a taste in the sausage. I'll cut it open for you. There is that little hint of flavor of beer in it. It's not overpowering at all. It's kind of just like a background taste and I love that because I'm not really a fan of beer myself but the flavor I can admire and that is right here in this fresh pork sausage baked in dark beer. So definitely a must try when you're in Lithuania. <laughs> Now that was a super long day today guys, don't you think? So now it's time for my final thoughts about Vilnius, Lithuania. Now I don't want to be too unfair because I've only been here for two days so it's going to be hard for me to put all my assumptions about a country and a city in my only 40 hours stay in Vilnius but there's nothing much changed considering my first impressions from yesterday and if you did miss that out make sure you check out my first impressions of Vilnius on yesterday's vlog which is episode one but the only thing I want to add there is the level of English everyone speaks and understands English here which is I'm really surprised about considering it's an ex-Soviet country the older generation even though they may not speak as much as the younger generation they still understand English and the younger generation are amazing they make jokes with you, they laugh, they laugh at your jokes, they understand the sense of humor of tourists, which is really comforting and they make you feel very comfortable wherever you are, so that's kind of cool. After my little walking tour when I got back from Turkey, I did go to a few other neighborhoods in Vilnius and I was telling you yesterday that I felt very safe here in Vilnius and I still do, however I did see different parts of Vilnius that I wasn't really expecting, well I should be expecting it because it's in every single country 
in the world, but I did see some homeless people that were kind of following tourists around asking for money. I mean, that's normal in any country in the world. I just didn't see any of that yesterday, but I did see some today, more in the old town of Vilnius. Do keep an eye out for that and in case you're going to be staying in the Old Town area. My hotel is the Amberton and I'm at Cathedral Square and I love this area. I feel completely safe here just walking around. I was just sitting down on benches, googling things and researching where I should go next and checking facts and stuff. I didn't feel at all that someone was following me or watching me or anything so you have nothing to worry about when you come to Vilnius, Lithuania. Also, do consider Vilnius as a uh, part of your European trip because it's relatively inexpensive, especially for those who are looking for a bit of, you know, a money saver when it comes to visiting Europe. I really appreciated how things were a lot cheaper. And as usual, oh my god, that one euro bottle of San Pellegrino. I got another one on the way home. One euro? That's ridiculous. This is probably, I don't even know, in Australia, this is probably double the or triple the price in Australia. I wouldn't be surprised. I love my sparkling water. Europe is sparkling water capital, so it's quite inexpensive here. So that's another thing that I love. Did you guys like today's vlog? I should have asked that in the beginning. If you do, hit that comment box below. Let me know what you want to do, what you want to visit in case you want to come to Vilnius. If you are from Vilnius or have been here before, do leave some tips for us in the comments below so that our little community can learn from what you experience. Because every person experiences every city differently. So let's have a healthy conversation in the comments below. If if you've watched this vlog and my first one and you're still interested, head over to my channel. I might have a few other cities or countries around the world that I have vlogged in and I might be able to give you some tips there too. Also, share this video, share the love, help out my channel. It's really, really going to help in my growth and I do want to continue making videos such as this for you and your friends and family. So I do hope that you like my style of vlogging. I'm very much into learning a little bit about each place I go to, eating something local, and also learning more about the culture and the people of each place I go to, even if I do have relatively short stays. So tomorrow, episode three, I hope you guys stay tuned because I'm going to... Riga in Latvia. It's my first time too, so I'm very, very excited. So I need to get some shut eye now and rest up for my early morning flight to Riga. I hope I get on because I'm on a standby ticket. So let's see if I get on the flight that I want to get on. But I hope you stay tuned for my episode tomorrow, episode three, my first impressions in Riga, Latvia. I haven't heard too much about it, so before I go to bed, I'm going to research a little bit too. So I hope to see you in tomorrow video and until then always take care